Hello, welcome back to Human Resource Machine. The next one in the list is actually Year 15, which is a little cutscene. As usual, it doesn't really make any sense. I mean, look at the art on these things, they're absolutely bizarre. Their mouths are like moustaches. Okay, come on TV broadcast. Let's see what we've broken now. Right. I'm kind of wondering if this actually forms a story at any point, or if it's just completely random comments. <laughs> anyway, moving on to level 16, absolute positivity. Right, on this level, we've got to take everything from the inbox and put it in the outbox. However, it has to be... It cannot be a negative. So, if that's minus 3, we've got to make it so that it ends up being 3 when we output it. As usual, we're going to start with the inbox. Now, this time, if it's a negative number, we're going to put that straight in there. We'll just move that down. If it's not a negative number, we can send it straight to the outbox and not have to do anything. So that's half of them dealt with in immediately. We'll pick it up from the inbox. If it's a negative, we'll move down. If it's not a negative, it ignores the jump and it will send it straight to the outbox. Now, to finish that off, we put a jump there, so it will keep checking from that stage. So that will complete the loop for if it's a positive number. However, if it's a negative, what we're going to need to do is we'll have to copy the number into there. Now, the only way I could figure out how to do this, going back for a little bit of maths, is if you minus two negative numbers, it will become zero. If you minus another negative number, it will become a positive. So, based on that, we'll minus the negative number from itself, and we'll minus it again, send that result to the outbox, and then we'll put a jump command all the way back up to the top, which will just start the whole process loop over again. Let's see how this works. So it's gone to the inbox, it's not a negative, so it's gone straight out. Gone back to the inbox, it's a negative, so he's going to copy it, minus it, and minus it, which gives us a positive. Sorted. You really need to know your maths on some of these. It's not easy. And that's it, guys. Let's see how we did. Got the speed challenge, which is good. The size challenge. Use eight or fewer commands. I'm not exactly sure off the top of my head how to do that right now, so we'll come back to it later. If you guys know, please let me know in the comments, and I'll catch you later.